because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. With me, I've got big Martin Piccoli. Wow, what an eventful night it was for you last night. And um, Before we come into other things, the altercation with Dylan White, I want to talk about your fight with the Hulk. Impressive, against a 10 0 fire, 8 knockouts, 20 stone almost. You stopped him in the third round. Your, your thoughts this morning? Yeah, I know. I wake up like uh, I'm coming from the gym. No, because uh, they always say work hard in the gym and fight easy. The fight, you know, people see it like it's easy, but you know, it's all work I've been done in the gym. Mm -hmm. And you'll be visiting me in the gym and see how I'm working. So uh, I'm so happy for myself and for my coach. Talk to me about the, the, the knockdown as well. I mean, he seemed to have, he, he wanted to trade and he was standing there, you were t he was eating some big, big, big shots and then it was just sort of like you, you dipped your shoulder a little bit and came around with the left hook and knocked him on his, on his bum. So yeah, a, a shot that I seen you working on in the gym with Billy Nelson, so it pulled, it came off. Yeah, you know, everything we've done in the ring, that's why you see uh, everything we did in the gym, we take it to the fire. You see that left hook, you've been seeing us working in the gym all the time. Uh, the, to be honest, the guy is tough, he's a tough guy. You see, they did stop him. I'm the first guy to stop him and to drop him down like that. So that show and uh, you know, make me believe that myself that I got power to stop anybody. The body shots as well. I mean, I was sitting ringside and I could hear the boom every time you landed in body shots. And um, again, you, you, it's it's a probably the, the body shots. Heavyweights don't really throw many body shots, but you seem to have thrown quite a few in in that in that fight. Is that something you've been working on with Billy as well? Yeah, you know, Billy is always asking me, and even when I'm punching the uh, the uh, bag, so he always advised me to not throw many punch in the head without finishing the body, mm -hmm. because everyone in every way is focused in the mm -hmm. in the head, but they forget there's a big body because you can't hide your head but no body, so I always always work on the body. You see that yeah. happening in the fight, yeah. Definitely. Um, obviously, the referee stopped in the third round. He seemed to have pleaded his, his innocence as if to say, what are you doing? I'm, I'm fine. But I think if it went on any longer, it was just going to be more punishment. No, it was not fine. For me, the fighter should be stopping but in a second hand because I dropped him first, hand, uh, first time. I'm and second hand, you know, left hook again. I, sh I think the referee should stop, but he made good decision to stop him because he was not dropping any punch. No, I start open up like I did to Kevin Johnson. So I was going to punch him until the referee is coming to stop. Great fight, a fight that you needed to win. We talked about making a big statement and you did that. But other than the big statement that you made, I mean, I said to Billy, I saw a, pot, a different Mark Bacoli last night that I've never seen before. All I've ever seen you is with a smile on your face. You've always been smiling and happy. You've gave me, you shook my hand, gave me a hug. You've always been nice. But last night I saw a part of Mark McCauley I've never seen before and it was an angry, well, basically an angry Mark McCauley when Dillian White showed up after the Babbage fight. So, yeah, just your reaction to that altercation with Dillian White from last night this morning. Uh, first, I want to apologise for the language. That is not much in McCauley. And secondly, I want to make this clear. Uh, I'm coming from Africa, in a French country, so I'm learning English. Sometimes Dylan White, because he doesn't have any argument, he think you know, to speak English you know, is make, can make you good in the ring. You know, in the ring you don't need to talk, so <laughs> it's to fight. Uh, I went mad because he called me names. You know, if you're a boxer, like today if someone called me out, if I'm ready to face him, I'll say, hey, I'm ready to make the fight. If I'm not made, just keep quiet. Why call me names? That make me feel like that. And uh, he's scared. I saw that he's scared. And he, he ran away. He's calling me upstairs or the ring is downstairs. He's scared. What would happen if you were to face Dillian White? I mean, that's probably intrigued the fans a little bit now. Because um, like you say, I think we know that boxing is a business and sometimes fights get made on social media. So if that fight does get in, does get made in the in the future, for whatever reason, what happens to Dillian White if you face him in the ring? No, no, I want this, I don't want this fight, please. I want to stop him. I'll stop him cold like Tyson Fury did. I'll knock him out bad. 
I want this fight to happen and everyone will see that I'm right so they will see like I, I'm not talking just to talk. I'm a Martin Bacoli changing all the time, style changing thing, I'll go power, everything. I know when I'm talking to myself, I know who I am and I, I believe in myself. Again, in your heart of hearts, do you think that you'll get that fight? I mean, I, I do want to talk about you called out Daniel Dubois. That seems to be the fight that you really want. But staying on Dillian White a little bit longer, do you think that fight can be made now? Yeah, of course. You know, he said it himself. He, he called me as well, let go. But he was asking me to go upstairs. Upstairs is no ring. <laughs> I want that fight. You no know, boxers, everything. Everyone can see that the fight. You know, that is the fight. For me, the fight is on. So I can't see why waiting again because now I'm still in Poland. We're going back to, to Scotland or to the UK today. So I'm waiting for Dylan White, maybe team or promoter to tell me that Dylan White to say yes and give me the date for the fight. I want to school him. I want to knock him out. You called out Daniel Dubois. Um, he's a WBA regular. You're number two, I believe, the WBA. Uh, Wilder's been bumped up to number one, I believe. Um, your coach Billy mentioned that he might not be fit enough still Daniel Dubois with his knee injury uh, but that is the fight that you want I seemed that the post fight interview in the ring you were just constantly Dubois I want Dubois Dubois so is that the fight you want next if that Dylan White fight doesn't come off of course you know is a, there's a reason I'm calling Dubois all the time because he's got the belt I want I'm number two WBA ranking and today is the Walda so if Dubois is off so I'll start calling Walda every day Seems like the, the, I mean, the big names that you're wanting right now is Dubois, White or Wilder. I'm a big name as well, so yeah. number two, number two, double VA. So who do you want me to call? No, I'm calling big names because I'm ready for them. Everyone can see now, I'm ready to face them, I'm ready to knock them, I'm ready to take over the double uh, average. Man, let's go back maybe two years ago when I was interviewing you and you were calling these names out. I felt, I felt like almost it was a distant dream that it might never happen because you was obviously you were coming through. You had that Michael Hunter loss. You were just coming through. You were trying to build yourself back up again. But now after this fight with Hulk, the altercation with Dylan White last night, you're number two in the WBA. It almost seems like this isn't a pipe dream or even a dream anymore. It seems like you're... you're almost there. I mean, maybe one or two more fights till you get one of these big names. Yeah, yeah, I know. And thank you for... Join me in the just joining. So we start from uh, four years now. So we start from far, and you've been seeing. I've been calling them even when I'm, I was not ready. So, but uh, now I know I'm ready, and I know I'm calling them out. They're not coming back to say they are going to fight me. There's the only way to go is to get mandatory position. So that is why I'm today number two WBA. So one fight, why not fight for the world title? One final one for me then. You got a message for White, Dubois, Wilder? White now. Dylan White. Fucking say yes and sign the counter. I'll knock you out. Look at my eyes. I'm not joking. You bum. I'll knock you out. Man, thank you so much, mate. I'll see you in the next one. Thank, thank you, you, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never, never shut, shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.